Eric Moad with Moad.com. Let's take a look at the current monthly chart for Eli Lilly, LLY. And this is three years worth of monthly data. We can see here that last month it closed at fresh highs on a monthly closing basis as compared to the previous closing high for 2015, which was at 81.51. Now what we can do is follow this along and see whether in the coming weeks and months this might be telegraphing that the next major trend is down. The reason why I say that is because while it was recording the improved high here at the end of March 2017, the RSI failed to move above 61.8. In my opinion, this is the worst type of negative divergence where you see an improvement in prices, but the RSI does not make a higher high. In other words, lower technicals and, and more so when the RSI fails to move above 61.8. So I would watch for this to be telling us that unless there is a correction to this situation, if the RSI does not improve, if the RSI does not move above 61.8, and especially if it fills back below the recent breakout level. So the key here is if it can hold above 81.51, which is the previous monthly closing high, then maybe it has a chance of moving high. But given that it made an improvement in monthly closing highs, RSI failed to move below 61.8. If it moves back below the previous monthly closing high of 81.51, in other words, if the breakout fails also, those two red flags, the RSI not moving above 61.8 and prices failing to hold above the previous breakout levels, those two red flags would suggest that the next major trend is down. Check the description for more about this, especially about the worst type of negative divergence when a stock records new highs but that fails to move its RSI above the 61.8 level. Eric Moad with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings.